Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Canva layers on iPad. The position tab located in the toolbar above the canvas area is where you'll do the bulk of your editing when it comes to layers. But first, it's important to understand the different components of the menu. After clicking on position, the menu will appear to the left. You'll see two tabs within the menu, Arrange and Layers. Arrange allows you to move the layers forward and backward. It also gives you the option of repositioning the elements to specific points on the canvas, like top or center. If you want to get really specific with it, you can type in the pixels of where you want your elements to go. Layers enable you to see all the layers you have in your design. If it has a six dot icon on the right of it, it's an element. If it has a diagonal line square to the left, it's the background of the canvas. Additionally, each layer has a three dot icon. If you hover your cursor over the top right corner of the layer, this icon will open several editing options for the specific layer. There are a few different ways to arrange layers. The easiest is to have your layers tab open under position and manually move the layers to the position you want them in. You also have the option of going to the arrange tab. After the shape element is selected, click the backward button until the element is behind the dog. You can also select to back since you know since you know the shape element is going to the very back. And grouping your layers just means that you're turning multiple layers into one complete layer. The easiest way to do this is to click and drag your cursor on your canvas over the layers you want to drag. You'll notice boxes appearing on the layers. After that, editing options should appear above the layers. Click group and you'll see all your elements merge together into one layer. To lock your layers, click and drag your cursor over the layers. The edit option will appear and click the more tree dot icon and then lock. And that's all. I hope this video helped you guys. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you again.